you bring your foot inside the channel, you set your piece back in, and you have your point. And you have spider webs. When you want the next size, a point is a point is a point. Add your piece on top, there's your natural stopping point, and yes, this tool works very, very well. Once you throw in the straight lines coming down, you have spider webs. But there's so much more you can do with it. I'm not as fond of the spider web because it only can really be used a couple of times a year. But watch what happens when I play with my template and I employ the twist method with using the different sizes. I don't have spider webs anymore. And when I take off the next one and add it and twist back, kind of a neat design. And remember what that method that I showed you with the with the uh, circles where I kept my my stitch I needled down in one spot and moved my template up. The same can be done with templates that have points to them. And this time I create the shell look to it. So there's lots of different things you can use, do with the templates. Doing different movements, move, sliding them along, rotating them, twisting them. You never know what you can do with them.